reduce your price and net less. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back in. My name is Robert Mack with Five Realty and today I wanna to come to you with a market update as we approach the end of the year. Right now we're hovering around mid-November and we always see the market change a little bit during this time of year. Uh, but when you factor in what we've been dealing with for the last three to five months, um, we're seeing a new market that we really haven't seen in the past. So let's just dive into some of the numbers here. Let's talk about active inventory. Take a look at this slide that I'm gonna put on the screen right now. You'll see here that if you look at last year's numbers, the red line, we were around eh, about 1,700, 1,800 homes available for sale. If you look at the yellow line, that's 2022, we're hovering around 3,581 homes available for sale. So what we're seeing here is we are seeing basically twice as much inventory now than last year. So buyers obviously have more choices. And when you talk about supply and demand with higher supply, we see lower demand. That said, we're still in a low inventory market. Uh, if you look at 2019 here, you will see that we had um, almost 7,000 homes available for sale. So we're about 50% lower than in 2019. So we're in a unique situation where we have more inventory than last year, but significantly less inventory in the years past. However, there are other factors to continue considering. So let's talk about demand. Check out this slide that I'm putting on the screen. If you look at 2021, the red slide, 2,300 homes went pending this time last year. But if you look at the yellow line, currently we have about 1,300 homes going pending. So no surprise here, right? With higher inventory, with higher rates, demand falls, so we're seeing less homes sell. And to be honest with you, generally this time of year, we also see demand fall because the holiday seasons, most of the unmotivated buyers go away. So the only people transacting are the people that have to buy or have to sell. And that number is much smaller. Now, let's talk about interest rates. Interest rates saw some relief this week. So, you know, if we're talking about early 2022, you know the rates were in the th in the threes, the low threes. And then they shot up to the mid sevens. Now we're looking at rates between six and six and a half. And to be honest with you, if you got creative and worked with an aggressive lender and were able to negotiate some seller credits to buy down your rates or get creative with loan options, you could probably get something in the fives. In fact, I was talking to a client yesterday and her lender was saying they could get probably around five and a half to 5.75 with the program that they were talking about. So for the buyers out there that are like, ah, I really want to buy, there is hope for you. Now, let's talk about days on market. Really, how long are homes taking to sell? So take a look at this slide right here. What we're seeing in a nutshell, it's taking about four to five times longer to sell a home in our current market than last year. So to give you a perfect example, homes priced between 1.25 million and one and a half million were selling in about 20 days last year. And now we're looking at about 95 days on average. Now, one thing to keep in mind, it's just because the average home takes 95 days to sell doesn't mean you can't sell your home in five days, 10 days, or 15 days, or whatever you want, because it always comes down to strategy. So don't be alarmed by these numbers because you can recreate your own market if you work with a great agent and you have the right strategy. Now, let's get to the price reductions. Let me read what Stephen Thomas says here about the price reductions. Now, to correlate everything, he talks about track athletes, sprinters, getting out on the starting blocks quickly, fast, and first often is the difference in a race. There is plenty of preparation and training to be that runner that is the fastest off the blocks. The initial lunge is crucial and it is an advantage that often propels an athlete with the best start to cross the finish line. So bottom line is, is look, if you come out strong out of the gates as a new listing, you're priced right, you prepared your home to sell like a model home, and you create that emotional connection with the buyers, and you're strong out of the gates, you can sell quickly. That said, for those sellers out there that are just saying, hey, I'll give it a shot, I'll test out the market, I made a video about this last couple of weeks ago saying, if you're not motivated, don't even bother. For the sellers that are putting a price out there, and then hoping they get their price, but then not getting it and then reducing, we're seeing that those sellers are netting less. Let me give you a quick example. We worked with a seller 
we we got our home ready and we said hey listen your home is probably worth somewhere between 800 and maybe 830 for the right buyer we recommend you price your home at 795 to make sure that you maximize your exposure and show everybody in this price range that you're ready to sell and our seller said you know what i really want to try it at 830 so we did we gave her all of our pros and cons and our advices we listed it for 830 a month went by nothing happened she says what do you think we should do we said we should drop the price to 795 like we originally recommended so we dropped the price after four weeks and we got an offer at 770 and that was the buyer's highest and best our seller was desperate and motivated and she took the offer at 770. this is a perfect example of reduce and net less had our client taken our advice and listed for 795 very likely she would have sold between 795 and 815 maybe even a little bit more if we got multiple offers that said she priced it high to leave room to negotiate we lost that opportune time what stephen thomas calls the golden opportunity of a listing is that first couple week period when you're coming out strong in the gates she missed her opportunity and she net about 25 to forty thousand dollars less so what do you do if you're a seller the three p's is what we're talking about right now home preparation is critical you need to have to make sure the buyer falls in love with your property emotionally to make sure you can get them to submit an offer and a good offer the second p you got to price your home to sell based on our current market buyers are looking for great deals buyers know prices are falling so buyers don't want to overpay for property and the third p is have a little bit of patience if your home doesn't sell in a day or in a week maybe it'll take two or three weeks but with the right strategy you will get what you want it is critical to work with a great agent it is critical to have a plan the last two years you put a sign in the front you put it on the internet and you hope it sells and it does that's not happening anymore to the buyers out there now is your time if you're motivated to buy sellers are negotiable prices are coming down rates are volatile yet coming down and if you can time your purchase right and you can work with an aggressive lender to get a great rate now presents an amazing opportunity to buy if you are motivated to buy thank you so much you guys for watching my video if you found value please comment like share and subscribe i'll see you next time